doing another uh, test flight here for my um, Falcon RPM octocopter. It's got a whole bunch of braces for some pretty good vibration performance. And it's got six inch props in the bottom for a little bit zippier response and seven inch on the top for a little bit more efficiency. And just testing it now with a 2600 milliamp hour LiPo to how to see what the current draw is like now with these new props and uh, check if the milliamp hour count is working properly. It's just gonna do a full flight around over the river. I'm testing to see if the milliamp hour used element in the OSD is calibrated correctly. It's an important part of knowing when it's time to turn back on a long range flight. And I may as well have some fun while I'm trying to use up this battery. I'm not sure if it was the beta flight tune or something to do with this specific motor and prop combination, but this 7 inch octocopter feels as comfortable to fly as a 3.5 inch Cinewhoop. Alright, so I'm going to do the my first long range or sort of long range flight with the uh, octocopter version of the Falcon RPM. I've got a 4000 milliamp hour lipo and I'm going to go and uh, fly around up these cliffs up here. They're not far away, it's like a kilometer away or something. Maybe 500 meters up. It's a good beginning test for some some long range for this. It seemed to be pretty efficient. I, I wasn't flying all that fast. I was going kind of slow, doing more cine whooping sort of stuff. But I got nine minutes on a 2600 milliamp hour lipo, so I'll easily be able to get up to those cliffs and back with uh, this 4000. Just get it plugged in here now, and then we'll uh, get going up the cliffs there. Oh, that flew really well. That was, I really enjoyed that flight. Uh, so I'm gonna take this thing for another flight here. I uh, did a nice warm up flight by the river and uh, some cliffs back uh, up the valley in a nice spot. I'm feeling a little more comfortable with it now. It flew really nice. So now I'm gonna try going up uh, here and at very least, you know, dive in that cliff close up, but. We'll see. Maybe I'll fly a little bit further up. We'll see how many milliamp hours it takes me to get up, get up to the top of the cliff. I might keep going. We finished finding satellites here now. Uh, pretty much all set to go. So I'm just gonna uh, get a tarp laid out so I don't land in the sand here, and uh, then uh, get going up there.
Okay, that was uh, that was cutting it close. My battery had like maybe it would have kept me in the air for another five seconds or something. Oh, right, let's see if I can take the risky route back into the sun here. Oh yeah, this is nice and slippery. Let's let's not do that. I don't want to record myself being stupid. Hey, that was a little nerve wracking. The battery died super fast at the end there. But uh, yeah, I took this thing all the way up to like basically to the top of that rounded spot at the peak there. And then uh, filled this cliff here on the way back. That was, uh, that was kind of nerve wracking. Never uh, just, I don't know, felt a little bit extra worried flying an octocopter. Not really meant for uh, heading out good distances like that, but uh, it, I could definitely feel it pulls up like so easy coming out of the dive there. I definitely could have gone in way closer with it. 